What an incredible last three days here at the Scene Conference in Nashville, Tennessee. We've been so encouraged, as you see this said here, to have interviews with key speakers and hear really just wonderful testimonies. Things that I know will encourage you in learning how to share your faith with a crazy culture, uh, how to just grow deeper in your walk with Jesus, and then to hear what God is doing around the world. Now, I pray you'll stay tuned and that you'll watch this next video, and I know that it'll be an encouragement to you. Uh, we're glad to have Pastor Alistair Begg uh, out of Parkside Church uh, near Cleveland, Ohio with us today. And he's authored at least 15 books, somewhere around there. Yeah, maybe. And of course is known for his radio program also, uh, Truth For Life, which has blessed thousands. And Alistair, how many stations is Truth For Life on now? I don't know. They say, um, I think 1700 or something 1700. like that. Yeah. Wow. You probably yeah. never thought. No. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't. You still don't, right. Don't, and and uh, of course, the thing about the radio is you never know that anyone's listening unless they tell you. Right. So every so often you meet somebody who said, I listen. I said, well, that's good. And who would have thought it when you came over here yeah. that God would have expanded these things like this? Strange, really. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's done. But, you know, God is full of surprises. <laughs> he, he is. Yeah. Now, you you have any children? I have three grown children. Three, any grandchildren? And I have eight grandchildren. Okay, I've got yeah. seven. Okay, okay good for you. They're wonderful, aren't they? Oh, I, I understand when people say, if I'd known how good it is having grandchildren, I would have had them first. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you wonder now that you have grandchildren, you think, man, there's no way I could raise kids now. I don't have the energy. So it's nice to have, but they do go home yeah. at a certain time, which I guess is a blessing at our age. So yeah, it do, is. That, it's, it's bittersweet. Yeah. Well, listen, you've been there for many years. God's blessed you in a great way. Can you look back and now and say, listen, maybe one or two people that have been maybe key mentors in your life. That, and I know you, you make reference to certain people. Who would you say were those people that has maybe influenced you the most? Well, they would be unknown names to most people, yeah. you know, so that Sunday school teachers, yeah. uh, Bible class leaders in suburban Glasgow, who were young men of a Christian conviction, but they were also sort of real fellows, you know, they could play sport. Yeah. And uh, so I, I admired them, I looked up to them, and I still remember them. And every so often um, I come across one of them yeah. when I'm back in Scotland. Um, when uh, my father, of course, was crucial in my life, but uh, Derek Prime, the man that yes. I went to be the assistant to in Edinburgh, in 1975 uh, was a huge influence on me. Although we only spent, I only had the privilege of being with him for two years. But the way in which I do so many things to this day is just the way I saw him do it. And I said, well, I'm gonna try and do that as well. Now, one thing I wanted to just touch base with you on, a number of years ago, during kind of the COVID and all the political things that were going on, I thought like, man, it doesn't seem like Christians are necessarily representing them well, themselves well uh, to an unbelieving world. And so it, it spread truth. We occasionally do these little films, very short, but hope they can be impactful. And wanted to try to write something and the things we were trying to produce didn't seem to click. And then all of a sudden I came across one of your messages on the man on the middle cross. When I saw it, boy, it uh, really, really touched me. But then I saw that, man, this thing has gone really viral. I mean, it was kind of crazy to see. I mean, it was everywhere. Why do you think that concept so uh, connected with an audience? Well, you know, I think one of the things is that if you think by and large about the general content of preaching, I don't think it's unfair to suggest that the cross is seldom proclaimed except around Easter time. Right. But the message of the cross is the message. And it is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it's the power of God. And, and so I think, you know, it's as simple as the fact that Jesus says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to me. And he was lifted up on the cross. Now, when I preached at that event, which was in a seminary, context. Um, 
uh, it was a tough night for me. I was not, uh, I, 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 I didn't like the choir that was behind me. I, I don't mean I don't like that choir, but I, when, I, when I speak, I don't like people behind me. They were close to and you. They were very close. close. And when I later on saw the video, not all of them were really enjoying the message. And uh, so it was, it, it, it wasn't planned, I, it, it, just came, it just came out. God keeps all his appointments at the cross. Right. That's, the place, that's the place that he, that he has come to do that, it's that Jesus has come down into time, not as an example, not as a philosopher, not even as a great teacher, but as a sacrifice, as an atoning sacrifice. And when people are brought to an awareness of the love of God, that it is the love of God for sinful people that is expressed in that way, well, you know, the Spirit of God brings that home to people's hearts. I know you're, you're a busy man, but uh, any upcoming things you would like to be able to let us know of, of what you're gonna be doing? Anything you're writing, you know, potential writing on? Well, I've got, I mean, I just did an Advent book that has just come out uh, for uh, devotions in Advent and we've got a couple of projects but they're not finalized yet yeah. so i don't want to say what they are but the advent yeah. one is already put it's out through, it just through, came through. out yeah so you can get it through truth for life yeah and you get it through hopefully you get it here or yeah. amazon again thank you for preaching the word uh, and i know you probably get a lot of people saying that but you know there's a lot of people thousands and thousands have been influenced and there'll be a day in heaven and the Lord will look at you and just say, well done, well, a faithful servant. We are, we're together in the project. I mean, the Word of God does the work of God. And, we, yeah. we plant water, right. He makes it grow. And thank you also just for allowing Spread Truth with the story booklet and the story maker in the film. You know, we trust that it's been a blessing yeah. uh, for you folks there. Sure, and it helps. And helps yeah. be able to get the gospel out and things like that. And listen, God bless you and thank, thank you. you for your time. My we privilege. appreciate it so much. It was thank good. you.